my, my, my TED talk is the key to success. My TED talk is the key to success. I want to start by giving four examples of a Christian life. When we go in a, in a Philippians 2, verse 1 to 5, When I read that, and many of us, we don't have the mind of Christ in us. Many of us, we don't have the mind of Jesus in us. Jesus Christ was not double-minded. Please, shake your neighbor. Shake your neighbor. Say, are you double-minded? Double shake your neighbor. Say, are you double-minded? Jesus never have double-minded at all. He never have double-minded. He never had double-minded. Is that clear? I said Jesus was not double-minded. He had one purpose. Jesus was not double-minded. He had one purpose. To set the world free. That is our purpose. That is our aim. Our key to success is found in a Philippian Two, verses one to three. Therefore, if there is any uh, consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and a mercy, two. Let's go to two. Two, two now we start with first. Because I say four. Yeah. Now, now he say, fulfill my joy. That's Paul talking. Fulfill my joy to Philippians. Fulfill my, by being like minded, having the same love, <laughs> being in one accord of one mind. He say, he, he said, he said, let's go to two again. Fulfill my joy. Now take it like God is telling you that fulfill my joy. Take it now. God is telling you, for you to fulfill his joy, you have to have one accord. To have same love. I like it in French. Because in French they say what? In French they say this. They say, rendez-moi, rendez ma joie parfaite. Ayant un même sentiment, un même amour, une même âme, une même pensée. It means to have one thought, everything. To, if you want to make uh, the, the happiness to God, if you want to make God happy, you have to have peace with everyone. You have to have the same thought, no contradiction. Are you with me? You know as we are praying together, this one must also say that, me, I don't want this, me, I don't want this, me, I want this. No, 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 no. When we think together, we think in the things of making God happy. I don't know if you understand I'm talking to you. When we sit now, we say, okay, what is your idea? This one says, my idea is this. Wonderful. Everyone must contribute. When in a church, everyone must have cont contribution is no judgment. Contribution is no judgment. Contribution is not blaming somebody. I don't know if you understand. Contribution is that we are trying to make our idea one. I think we can do this. What did you see? Giving chance. Oh, I think that is right. Wow. What do you say? Hey, I don't have any mind. Okay, you don't understand this thing. We want to do this so that God can be glorified. Oh. No you to be glorified, but God to be glorified. No you to be exalted, but God to be exalted. Today, people, they want to do things so that they can be happy. No, we don't do things for you to be happy. We do things so that God must be happy. People do things so that they can be exalted. No, 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 no. We don't exalt human beings. We exalt God. We make all so that God may be glorified. No, you want me to be glorified by God. You are not coming here so that the apostles are found. Where are you going to bring apostles are found? God must be exalted in you because it's God who will do things in you. Stefan cannot do anything. 
<laughs> Stephan also expecting from God. I'm also expecting from God. Are you with me? How can I do something to you when I'm expecting to God? That way I don't agree. He said, come, me, I'll do. Why are you? Who are you to do something? You say, power, fire. Who are you to? You, you. Huh? Where did you get that fire? It's about God. Say, come. I realize that God is visiting us here. That's why I'm talking. My brother, God is visiting us. It's a grace. It's a grace. If you say, come, me, me, bring it in your house. When you waffle a verdict, bring that fire. You are telling her, fire, fire, bring that fire. Because I will tell you, me, I had an experience. When my, my wife, you have a headache, I say, out, nothing. Headache go double. I say, huh? He said, pray for me now. You are you, you have you have power. I say, power is in the church. Power is not in the selfishness. Your headache, I don't. I say, eh. He say, pray again. I say, in the name of Jesus. He say, I say, what? He say, it's the same. I say, hey, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, Aline. It doesn't work. Don't force me. That, that, that is it. My people. <laughs> Let me tell you, the thing of God is the thing of God. <laughs> you cannot manage God. My God must manage you. Amen. I have experience. My wife said, legs, legs, legs. I said, what? Uh -uh. Well, go and ask her. Every time my wife said, hey, I said, oh, this one want to measure me. I will come there and say, okay, 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 stand there, stand there, stand there. My wife, the only thing when I say, Kay, the reaction I'll see is only Karen, maybe the baby do this. Huh? <laughs> but my wife still, mm. I don't see any, anything, any shake. Are you with me? I say it is done. When I say it is done, I don't hear nothing, I don't feel nothing, but I say it is done by faith. <laughs> then I say to my wife, what happened? He said, <sighs> I say, continue. This thing it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's go to church. I to go to church. Church, when we go, it's only when there's people. God do it. You think God will do? Oh, one thing I said to my wife one day, I said, you think God will do for you? If God do for you, are you going to glorify God? Maybe I will do it. God will do it to you. When me and you, we argue. You say, you, you are bad. There's no glory. So leave it. Take Panadol. There's a time for everything. <laughs> Nobody will lie, Stefan. I know the thing of anointing. I have tried my best. You know, sometimes I think I will carry this power at home. Mm, yet, no. Power, it belongs to God. Yeah. Huh? You say you carry power. No, here is apostle. At home, and you are husband. You cannot be apostle here, apostle at house. No, you are missing something. God will balance you. God will he make you an husband in the house and a father. At the church, he make you apostle. You cannot carry both. You become apostle at home. You kill people. <laughs> ah, you kill people now. Nah? You kill people. God is very, very, he knows. He manage you. God will manage you. You don't manage God. That was me. When I see somebody come, who, who, who are you to say come? Do you know the time? Do you know the hour? Do you know what will happen? Why are you making that say come? You say fire, Holy Ghost, thunder. You stand there. You put suits. Let's go to three. Let's go to three. Let's go to three. And I will say, let nothing be done through selfishness. If you want to please God. Let nothing be done through selfishness. Ambition and a concept. But in a loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than himself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one, you know this one. Mm. When human being, you come to this one, you, you are close to God. When you are taking other people, they are superior than you. But today, everyone wants to show up is somebody. You don't consider other. For you, you are on top. You know too much. You know everything. You are a perfect person. You don't consider other people that this one know more than me. 
This one, no, 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 no. Let me cool down. What they talking about? Humility. When you are humble, in French they say what? This is one. This one is three. In French they say, "Ne faites rien par esprit de parti ou par vain gloire, mais que l'humilité vous fasse regarder les autres comme étant au dessus de vous." I like that. By humility, you are taking, you are looking at other people like they are superior to you. You become humble. You, those who you are taking, they will see you higher. But if you put yourself higher, mm, the way God will pull you down. When God pull you down, he pull well, well. Don't even pray God pull me down. That prayer, you don't do that. I, I'm talking to you. Never, ever, ever ask God to pull you down. Continue asking God, God, raise me. If you ask God to raise, to bring you down, hey, if God bring you down, even fly, and a mosquito, they will know that you are down. <laughs> ah, because when God pull you, bring you down, he bring you down well, eh, my brother. Even if you want to stay, <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> you will go. Just your friend, you cut off your blessing. Even in South Africa, make no mistake. Am I talking to you? Tell the people, tell the people, they must not make mistake. We need neighbor. Otherwise, KFC will go. McDonald's will go. Waterfront will close. Will be a toilet. <laughs> no, I'm talking to you. Let me tell you, my brother. We must not make mistake here thinking like whatever, whatever. No. We must not make mistake. We need, we need everyone. Let us continue life the way God has made it together. Let us continue. The only thing that be clever, what can I do also to be like the other one? That's all. Don't say that I don't want this one. No, 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 no. You are a supplier. If you don't want him, your provision is cut off. God he never made a mistake. When God put you together, he know why. Tell your neighbor, when God put you together, he know why. When God put us, me and you, together, he know why. Let's go to four. Let's go to four. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests. <laughs> I like this. But also for the interest of our to please God. Tell never to please God, you have to make things in the interest of our other. But look at today, everyone looking only himself. I want to see Pastor. How did you see Apostle? Hey, it's very difficult. But how will you see me? Am I talking? I've heard this. I'm going to see Apostle. I'm going to see Apostle. Huh? I'm going to meet Apostle. Yes. I'm going to meet Apostle. How did you make it? Hey, it's very difficult. For him, it's very difficult. For you, <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Let's go to five. I think the five is the last one. That's the key to success. This one I'm giving you. Those are things I give you. Key to success. If you want to succeed in life, you have to do this. Let this mind ah, la, 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 be in you, which was also in Christ. What kind of mind is that? Check your neighbor. Do you have the mind of Christ? Please, check your neighbor very well. Your, your, your neighbor may pretend. Check him, check him, check him. Say, do you have a mind of Christ? Are you here with the mind of Christ? Answer me. Because that's the key to success. When you have the mind of Christ in you. Are you with me? And to have a mind of Christ in you, let's go to Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. Let's go to Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. 
Let's see that kind of mind of God. Now look at the mind of Christ. <laughs> Jesus. This is the kind of mind of Christ. He said this. Take my yoke. Do you understand? To have the mind of Christ who take my yoke upon you and learn of me. That's one of the mind of Christ. <laughs> I am gentile. Make and humble. Lowly in heart. And uh, you will find the rest, relief, and uh, easy, and uh, refreshment, and uh, recreation, and a uh, blessed quiet for your souls. One, you have to take his yoke. What do I mean taking his yoke? The mind of Christ. Huh? Carrying all the suffering. Meaning, to have a mind of Christ is to be ready for suffering. But uh, do you have a mind of, are you ready to suffer? Or you are ready only to be blessed? Or you are ready only to laugh? Some people, Christianity for them, they are not ready to find challenge. For them to be Christian is everything must flow. That is not a mind of Christ. A mind of Christ is being ready that nothing will separate me from the love of God. Trouble will come, I'll bless God and glorify God. Blessing come, I'll bless God and glorify God. When trouble come, I'll pray them all and fast them all. The mind of Christ is the mind that Paul and Silas they had in a jail. That the mind of Christ. When trouble was even entering them in a marrow, they were glorifying God. They said, praise God. They were not saying, I don't know. Yo, sh- I don't know me, me. I've been praying, praying. Ah, God, now I'm in jail. The Bible said they were tight, wounded and bleeding. But yet, they were glorifying God. That's the mind of God. Be ready. Tell your neighbor, be ready. Be ready. To have a mind of God, you must be ready for any torture, any criticism, any insult, any rejection. You must be ready to bear it. And not to make enemy of people, but to be happy with those who are persecuting you. That is to have the mind of God. Jesus on the cross, they were persecuting him. He said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are. Stephen, they were stoning him. He said, Stephen never said, Ay, yo, yo, yo. Jesus come. No. They were stoning him. He never cried. Hey, 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 Jesus, no. He said, Father, he himself said, I'm seeing the heaven open. I say, Father, forgive them to be ready. They don't complain. But contrary, they pray for those who are persecuting them. Not even persecuting, killing them. Let us make the things together. Because persecuting is like you'll be alive. But this one has been killing them. That to have a mind of Christ to be ready for those who are killing you. Are you with me? Are you ready for the people who will kill you? <laughs> My people say yes. Ask your neighbor, are you, are you ready for the people who will kill you? You will never complain. Is it you will never cry? But you say, Father, bless them. Well, let's go. To have a mind of Christ, go in 1 Peter 2, 21. 21. 1 Peter 2, 21. To have a mind of Christ. For even to this where you call it, it is inseparable from your vocation. For Christ also suffered it for you. Living you is personal example so that you should follow in his food. What is the meaning of this? Huh? No, no, no. Following the step is meaning what? Start by the beginning now. Huh? Following the? No, 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 no. You don't make it well. You know, you are running something. Let me start it. For even two, this way, 
you call it, meaning you too have been called to it. Inseparable for your vocation, your vocation, you. For Christ also suffer for you. Meaning that your calling is to suffer for other. You know, this is very simple. No, you want to know. Full step, full step, full step, full step, full step, full step what? Full step is to suffer for, not to suffer for yourself. In the thing of God, there's no suffering for yourself. <laughs> Hey, Stefan, I'm laughing because I know this journey is very long. You need to learn to suffer for other. Christ come and suffer for us. You too in this world, you need to suffer for other. Praying for other. Fasting for other. Most of you, you fast for yourself. You lie down for your promotion. Mm, selfishness. But when you lie down, Father, I lie down. I need these people to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't drink, you don't eat. You don't go to bed, you go down. You say, I will never tell like that I will sleep all on my back. Father, I will sleep all on my back. I will never turn this side. I sacrifice myself for these people. Father, when you put your front on the ground, you say, until morning. Go and read Ezekiel. Until morning, I'll put this front down. I want to see miracle. I want people to be delivered. Not me to be known. Not me to have money. But I want people to be blessed. Father, I give you my body. I remember Kabunju Alesa. Those who know Kabunju Alesa, one of the servants in my country. He entered underground. Enter, enter under bed. He said, God, if you don't eat that one, I don't come out of this bed. He bent himself in the bed there. The wife said, Kabunji. He said, I don't come, I don't come. If God doesn't do something to that person, me, I don't come out. I don't eat, I will die here. <laughs> Until they come and tell me that the person is walking. Kabunji, I come out of the under, under bed. He was under bed there. He said, I'll remain in this position. Do you know Jesus? Some people they are praying on, they don't need to pray on the knee. Who tell you that? There's many things you can do. Jesus on the cross, on one position for you, one position until date, from morning until three. One position, but that position he was only praying. Ah, yeah. One position, not moving, not changing. One position, the legs like that, not moving. Until he get the key. He say, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatan. <laughs> wow. My brother, if you know to pray, sacrifice yourself. Suffer for other. Don't drink, don't eat. Not for you. But for other. We have been called to serve. And not to serve ourselves, but to serve other. When you know to lie down for other people. You are getting to another dimension of Christianity. Many people that are in a baby Christianity where they put knee down, they don't drink for their own promotion. In a dimension of God is a selfishness. You will get your reward. But our reward, we go down. I put my legs like that. Father, I wonder want to succeed and pass the school. I will do this for one hour. God, make it. My body will never do anything, but I give it to you. Punishing my body so that other people can pass. If you don't subdue your body, your body will punish your spirit. Am I talking to you? If you don't subdue this body, it will torture your spirit. You will never have a peace. But I make sure that my body don't have peace. But me, the one who is invisible, I have peace. Are you with me? The last verse. Let go to have a mind of Christ. 1 John 2, 6. If you have the mind of Christ. 1 John 2, 6. 1 John 2, 6. The Bible says, Whatever... 
say is abated. Whoever say he abated in me, in him, out as a personal depth, they walk and conduct himself in the same way in which he walk it and conduct himself. If you say that you belong to Jesus, you must walk according to the way you walk. The way Jesus walked, you must walk like that. You must love. When somebody come back to church, you don't trust him. When somebody fornicated, you don't tell him, you don't rebuke him. Contrary, you pray for him. Are you with me? Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you something. Are we like Jesus? I ask you, are you like Jesus? Or you are judging? Who are you? You are judging. You who are judging. You, you are seeing mistake of people and photo of people. Who are you? Ask your neighbor. You, you keep seeing mistake of people and fault in people. Who are you? Are you virgin? Have you never seen? Let me tell you. We can see your mistake. We can see your, mis your, your sin. But we ignore it. It's none of your own business. But your heart, you know who you are. Don't stop judging. Please, don't judge people. Don't point finger on people. Don't blame people before they blame you. Because if people start blaming you, you may enter underground. Nobody is perfect. Tell me about nobody is perfect. Church is for the people who have done many mistakes. They can come, continue doing their mistake, and God will change them. It's a matter of time. God time is the best. God bless you. Change my heart. Transform my heart. I want to operate according to the inner words, not according to the outward. I know the real me, I'm inside. The outside is not me. Father, let the inner person, the real person, from my heart, the me, start operating. Let people know me. Who am I in my heart? The way you create me. Do not let people see my appearance. Because in my appearance outside, there's a lot of mistake. But the inner person need to appear. Father, reconcile me with every person that I used to be. I want peace. I want joy. I want to enjoy my life with my brother, with my sister. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.